this is our first day with Simone and I. We're gonna bring to you something sweet on Sunday, okay? This is a cornbread cake, okay? As well as something for breakfast. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, first thing that we're gonna start off with a little sweet breakfast, okay? You gotta have something sweet for breakfast. So what I started out, uh, having is a cup of coffee in one of my favorite Christmas mugs and it has a Christmas tree with the sweater look and I think it's so cute and I have my creamer now this is a new creamer that I'm using just for now because my local store ran out of the one I normally drink and this is the caramel macchiato and it's pretty good by International Delight and it's pretty tasty and also I put in a splash of, now you guys gotta get some of this. This is the uh, Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte and ooh yes, it is delicious. Simone, I hope you have tried it by now. You said you were gonna try it, but it is so good. And then of course, you know, if you want to have some hot chocolate for those who like hot chocolate, there you go. And I have mine stored in this cute little basket. Christmassy basket that's super cute. Has all of the, the different colors on there. So that's where I store mine at. And then of course you gotta have a little morning sweet treat. And these are banana nut muffins. I did not make these. These are actually store bought. So I wanted to share with you something simple that you can you know, you can fix for your family for in the morning before you start having dinner. So I have it on my Christmas plate. And guys, if you like muffins, let me tell you, these are delicious, especially with your coffee. Banana and nut. Now, if you have a peanut allergy, this would not be good. So you wanna leave that alone. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'll be having for breakfast. And that's what I'll be serving for my family for Christmas day. Now this dessert I had thought of off the top of my head and I'm pretty sure you might have known about this. Maybe some have, maybe some haven't. But what I'm going to create is a Jiffy cornbread cake. And so I'm gonna be using two Jiffy box cornbread muffins mix. Now you can choose to use um, cornmeal if you want, but this is what I already have and this is cost efficient. So I'm just trying to show you a way that you can make a nice, sweet, delicious uh, dessert without, you know, breaking the bank. So we're gonna use two cornbread mixes. I'm gonna pour them in my bowl here. Like so. Now whenever I do use Jiffy cornbread mix, I like to add uh, three eggs instead of two. So here are my three eggs, and I like to use a, a little bit of oil. Any type of cooking oil is fine. And what that does is it makes the cornbread mix, you know, when it comes out, the cornbread comes out very soft and fluffy and even better. So let me go ahead and crack my eggs. Okay, now that my eggs are cracked, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands real quick. Now I'm going to take my spoon here and get ready to stir this up. But I'm gonna first add a little oil. Use as much as you want or as less as you want. I I don't uh, measure it, I just kind of eyeball it and I can tell that looks about right. Okay, and I'm using whole milk, so I'm just gonna pour. I, like I said, I don't measure, guys. I just pour in and just eyeball it and stir it up and then I can tell if I need more. I'm pretty sure most of you, if not all of you, know how to make cornbread. And if you don't, then I will leave the recipe, I will actually leave this recipe in the description box, just in case there are some who don't know how to make it. But it's very easy. Okay, now the stirring is done. Now I'm going to grease my pan and put it in the 
Normally I just put a little bit of butter inside my pan and I take my fingers, but for the video's sake, I'm not gonna do that. And I spread it all over. Doesn't have to be neat. Okay, and then what I normally do, I like to add just a little bit of cooking oil just to help it not stick. So you can pour as much as you want, but not too, too much. And then now we're going to add the cornbread mix into the baking dish. Okay, here is our golden brown cornbread. That's what it looks like when it comes out. And now I'm going to add my cream cheese frosting by Duncan Hines. Okay, and here is the final look of my version of cornbread cake. Now, my grandmother, guys, would love, and she used to eat sweets after dinner on Sunday. She used to love her sweets, so she would love this. She was a sweet lady <laughs> who loved sweets. Mmm, this looks so good. How it looks to me it looks delicious nice and sweet so let's go ahead and give this a try it actually looks like a regular slice of cake guys so I think I want to start over here in the corner try not to get too big of a bite here we go Mm. Mm. <laughs> what can I say but delicious yummy 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 for my tummy this is actually good you may not like this you know having your cornbread with frosting then maybe you do but you guys you gotta try it it's so sweet, it actually tastes like cake. It really does. So go ahead and give it a try. I will have the recipe down in the description box. It's very, very simple, okay? So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please come back next Sunday for another Sweet on Sundays treat. I will have something different, and I really hope that you will like it. Okay, so you guys take care. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.